Okay, hey guys, so today we're gonna do, this video is gonna be all about how I mix my Valspar base for the bloom recipe. Um, I've had a lot of people recently asking how I mix these with the gel and the varnish and with two paints and with the pigments and etc. So today we're gonna mix up some bath, some batches and then do a pour. So first thing I have here is my scale. Gonna pop my cup here, zero off my scale. So you all can see that. Okay, first thing that goes in this cup is my Valspar Wooden Metal Blend V700 Interior Gloss Base C. I get this from B&Q at the mixing counter. Okay, I'm gonna make sure these little straggly bits don't get in your container. So let's get a big stick, give this a mix, and I will show you guys the consistency of this. This is a lot thinner than um, some of the bases that I've seen people use in the States. So that's kind of why I'm starting to add this in my mix for my pigments. Um, and I feel that this holds my shapes of my cells and the lacing. It just gives it an extra, extra body. Okay, so here's the consistency. Let's not drop this. Of this, it's very thin, okay? And it's gonna get thinner when I add the varnish. So, but that's okay for your tube paints. Not so much for your pigments. Okay, so I'm gonna do 150 mil. Okay, well, 154, that's grand. Okay, get that stick away. Close this up. And get rid of this. And then I'm gonna do 50 mil. Um, well, I'll go, yeah, two or four. 50 mil of the varnish. This better be in frame. Wouldn't that be something? Let me go check. Okay. All right, stop messing. Okay. So we're gonna bring this scale up to 200, 204 to be exact. Okay. This may seem complicated, but like once you do it, I mean, I can do this now without really measuring. So, we'll get my stick and we'll mix this up. Okay, and you're probably wondering where the gel comes in, but this is for the tube paints. You could add the gel into this again if you're using um, um, paints that aren't as thick as, say, the golden. The golden tend to go, it gets really thick. So I stopped adding the gel to the golden. And I'm kind of obsessed with the golden paints at the minute, so that's mostly what I'm using. Okay, so this is mixed. I'm gonna give it a good mix. And we're gonna pour with this straight away. So there's the consistency. It's very, very thin, okay? Which is good for my paints. Now, for the pigments. Again, you don't have to do this. I like my pigments thicker and uh, to work with thicker paint, so um, consistencies and, let's see, what am I doing? See, I'm just working upside down here. Okay, that's mill, so. Should be the same, yep. Okay, so what I will do, 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put my two paint mix over here and get a Sharpie and write on there. And I'll put these paints by it so we know. And now, we're gonna say add about 20 mil of this right now. Because you wanna be able to break down this, you wanna break down the gel slowly so you um otherwise it's it gets starts to break up and it just becomes a mess and it doesn't mix in well so i'm gonna take that's it right for my 200 mil batch so let's see so i had 20 so that's about five mil of the heavy gel right Sorry, my camera died or ran out of space. Okay, so we're just gonna beat in the gel. Now again, this is for my pigments. I use this because I feel like it holds things together. Um, I don't get any breakage and my cells and lacing stay together nicely. So you really have to beat this in. I haven't um, played around with any of the other gel mediums, so feel free. So you really just beat it in, and then we're mixing it up just the same way we did for the two paint rooms. So we're gonna have lots of the bloom mix to play with. Okay, so this is 25. So we're just gonna take this and bring it up to 150 with the Valspar and then we'll add our varnish. Now you gotta make sure that this is mixed, loosened up a bit. Okay, so that's 25. So we're gonna bring it up, but we're gonna bring it up slowly and keep mixing that gel in. Otherwise, it's a pain. And tomorrow, we're gonna play with polypore and do some blooms just using polypore. So that's, this kind of, it turns it into like that string gel stuff. Like it's very, it's good stuff, I love it. Okay, see, now, take the stick out so we get a good measure. Again, we're gonna take this now up to 150. Okay, now we're gonna put this away for good. <clears throat> right, sorry guys, I had to fix my camera again, it went off. Okay, so let's give this a good mix. Take it up to 200. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I'll show you the consistency for this one and the other one that we mixed up together. Now, if you did not want to make this with the gel, 
you could just make the first one that we made, right? It's the same, same exact recipe. We are just adding, replacing some of the Valspar with a little bit of gel medium. But if you don't have gel, I'm sorry, extra heavy gel gloss. If you don't have the gel, just mix that up. And if you're using pigments, just add a blueberry size of two paints and you'll be grand. But this is so you can use, you know, the pigments without adding anything to have a nice thick consistency. It's not going to be crazy thick, but it'll be um, better than just adding it to just this. And as this, sit, this, as this sits, it'll get even thicker. Right, let's move the scale for a second. Compare. So pigment consistency. Still thin, but thicker than this. Okay, let's just do this straight off the stick. Okay, and this will thicken up as well. So we have that for the two paints and this one for my PM, or for my pigments. This probably all sounds confusing, but again, you could leave out the gel if you wanted and just do Valspar three to one with the gloss varnish. Okay. Now. So I have these little shot glasses, 30 mil. We're gonna be mixing up one, two, three shades there. And then we're gonna do a pigment, but let's do, that'll thicken up while we're doing these. Okay, magenta. We go Scale, you guys wanna see this. So I do everything by eye, so. Okay. Then on there, zero that off. So there's five mil of that magenta. And we'll take this up to about 25, I believe. Just give a good mix. And that is perfect for me. Okay, we're gonna do the cell activator as well, so stick around and stay tuned. Okay, so there's our magenta. Let's get this off to the side. Now I want to do another one. This is the light green blue shade. Yeah, and this five mil. So mm, twenty five mil now all together. Now again, this is just the way I do it and how I like to do it. And you guys want to see that. So I'm showing you. Um, there's plenty of other ways to do the bloom technique. 
different mixes. There's loads of different ways. This is just how I do it. And I'm sure it will change because I'm always adding different things and just playing around. So, but I will let you know. But currently, this is my way of doing it. And we'll go over the house paint, pillow paint as well. Okay, so you can see that's thicker than the magenta. So what we'll do is get my water and add a few drops of water to thin it down a bit. So you can see if I added the gel to this, that first PM, it would have just been way too thick for these paints. So that's why I started making a separate um, blue mix for the pigments. You could just add the gel into your, when you're doing your pigments, when you're mixing them up individually, you could add just, you know, a teeny blueberry sized dollop of the gel in there and give it a good mix. I've done that before. This is just so I have it on hand and I can just mix and go. Okay, so there's that one. Now next I'm going to do a mix of the light green with the uh, turquoise. So, drop that in, this is probably gonna be a little, let's see. Oh, when I get down to the end of these tubes, I get very sad to order more. Okay, I'm happy with that. We get mixed up more when we add the pouring medium or the blue mix. It's not necessarily a pouring medium, but right. So I'm gonna bring this. Oh, see, look at that. I almost grabbed the wrong one. Let's just bring that up to the top. Now again, this probably seems very complicated, but I could do this with my eyes closed now. Once you get it down and you're getting results, it's just... And then for those that don't like mixing this or don't, you know, have access to say the Valspar, uh, I will be doing the polypore blooms. And that's literally just the polypore by color art. All right, sorry again. So yeah, what I was saying is that the camera went off again. And if this is too complicated, you can't get your hands on the ingredients or whatnot, I'll be doing the polypore blooms next. And that's just a one-stop shot. So there's what we mixed. Those are the two paints we're gonna be using today. Now we're gonna do a pigment. This is Kiwi Color Arts Primary Elements. What's the color there? So, um, I'll just put it on the scale anyway. I don't really do that, but just so you guys can see. Okay, when you get the primary elements or the blankets or whatnot, you get little taster spoons, right? So, get this opened. Okay, here's the kiwi. I'm gonna go out there and drop that in. 
it's not even registering, so. Um, now let's not mix these up. See, I need my Sharpie. Okay, so this is the mix with the gel in it, okay? So what I like to do is drop a little bit in there. This is probably going to be a long video. Okay, so that's where it's at now. Just make sure that they're all wet. Okay. And now we're going to add about 25, I think. Okay, 22. And then you just mix it and then that's done. And if you let this sit, see we're gonna just jump right in and pour with these right now after we're done mixing. But if you let these sit, sit they'll thicken up as well. And say if you have them for a few days and they're just too thick, then just you can add um, a small bit of water or some varnish just to thin it down. But this is perfect. Like if we were to add those pigments to the PM, which is fine, it's just gonna be thinner and you, you, you might have a harder time keeping your cells and lacing looking um, not wonky, but it can be done, especially if you're gonna spin with the turntable, not a problem, or a hairdryer blowout. You want those to be thin. But there we have that. So we're done with that. Now let's just get this out of the way and we'll jump into CA, cell activator. Okay, again, I don't really do this, but. Okay. Here's my Amsterdam titanium white. tester as well. Now this is the Australian Flood Flow Troll. I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Always, always give it a really good shake before you open this and use it. It separates, so you want to give it a very good shake. So now we're going to Keep it there. So that was about 10 of paint. The 20, we'll see. We're gonna do a test. I don't really measure this like I say. Like I said. So you just mix this in. So it was like Okay, no, so we added 20 mil of the Floetrol already. Okay. Got to mix this really well. I'm 
Okay, we'll do a tester before we actually get the canvas out. Okay, so you want that nice stream running off the stick. I like to use the bigger um, tongue depressors because the smaller ones you don't get a good idea, at least on camera, of the consistency. So I'm happy with that. We'll adjust if needed. Okay, so that was, okay, so that was t about 10 mil of paint and then we brought it up to 45. And right now we'll do a tester. Close your flow trowel, tight. Okay, let's get this to the side, get rid of this. I'm sure my camera's gonna go off again. Get rid of that scale, and now we talk house paint. Okay, so this is straight out of the container. I have not added water yet. I'm going to add a little water. I get the, let me show you. Home base, pure brilliant white silk for walls and ceilings at home base. So this is like a shop brand. Um, when I get the big jug, it just, after I open it, it'll thicken up. So sometimes I add water, sometimes I don't. So today we are gonna add water. So this is the consistency straight out. Okay. I'm gonna get my water here. I'm just gonna add a squirt. And then mix it up. And I'll show you the consistency that we're gonna use today. We're gonna have air bubbles because obviously I'm mixing this now for you guys, which are gonna cause the measles. my phone I'm having storage issues so yes I mixed in that water so you guys don't have to sit there watching that so this is what we're at now I'm happy with that ideally you'd want this to sit for a day at least 24 hours for the air bubbles to rise and pop but we are just gonna dive straight in so let's do our quick test make sure our cell activator is correct What am I doing here? Okay, we're gonna go Kiwi first. Then we're gonna do like, what is this, the light green? And then we're gonna go for our little self mix here. And our magenta. and then our cell activator. Now cell activator, a little goes a long way. You don't want to use a lot of this. So we're just gonna go there. Okay, it's doing its thing. So I'm happy with that. Should've done this on a harder surface so I could bring it up show you all close let's see if we can manage that there we go so it's cells okay so we're gonna throw that off to the side and then we're gonna get our little standard things cups here, board on 
This is, what is this, 10 inch? MDF round. Okay, let's just dive in. Lots of paint, guys. Just how it goes. Okay, so again, we're gonna go. I'm trying to get some air bubbles galore. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go for three blooms. I haven't done just blowing out blooms in a while, so wish me luck. Same order as what we just did in our tester piece. And you kind of want to hurry before your paint sinks and Pillow is very thin. Hopefully, not too thin. I think we're going to do Rekka Bloom. I'm going to stick. Here's what we have. So you want to make sure that everything's come back together and moving together. So what are we gonna do here? Maybe we'll go. chunk in there. And I can fix that by just putting some white over it. Definitely have some negative space, which I'm negative space, which I'm okay with. I'm gonna try and get that off. And that kiwi has come right up and giving me the shimmer amazingness that I love. Let's try to open some of these. Okay. Let's 
Okay, I'm gonna have to maybe go down this way a little. Just to get rid of some more paint. You kind of know how much, um, like when you're okay as far as there's enough paint off the um, canvas or the board, whatever, by how slow it really starts to move. So I'm happy with that. And that's not too bad. Okay. Um... I think that's pretty much it. If I had another canvas or something laying around, I'd do another swipe or something, but I don't. So we will leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll try to answer them. Again, it might seem a little overwhelming or complicated mixing all that up, but it's really not once you get the first time around and then it'll just, you won't even need to weigh anymore. Uh, but yeah, again, thanks for joining and please subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to reach 100,000 and I'm nearly there. So I appreciate everybody subscribing and all that jazz. Um, until next time, we'll do the polypore next talking video. So have a nice day, morning, evening whichever it is when you're watching this. Thanks guys, bye. Oh, okay, I forgot the close up guys, sorry. So real quick. Those colors are just fan flipping tastic together. And that kiwi's gonna give this some shimmer that we all love. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Bye.